Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words to remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Lose it all. Hey what's going on, Fargo J3 and one back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use Sound Tool Importer and set it up to work with both the Redontech um code controller and any standard ELS system. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is make sure you have the plugin installed and make sure that is up to date. In which case mine is up to date. So then what all you need to do is open the Sound Tool Importer menu. Go into the importer and you can use the go back button to go back to this menu if you ever need to. Because I do plan on adding more features in the future. But this is all there is for now. Um, then what you want to do is you want to open the notepad with your exported binary in it. This is called binary if you didn't know, it's just one and ones and zeros. And then you want to copy this. Then you can put your exported binary in here. And you should know your BPM, so you want to enter your BPM. And something to keep in mind is always keep the BPM between 200 and 900, so that way it actually comes out correctly. Any higher or any lower, it will not come out correctly. So, something to note. Um, and then all you need to do is hit import, and it will show you import successful. And then it will get rid of that screen. And all you're going to see is this big white blob. And that's because I have bloom turned on. So I'm going to turn off the bloom for a moment. And as you can see, there's this shoot, there's this script that comes out and output. Um, that won't actually happen in the full release version. That's just because I have debug mode on so that way I can fix any bugs. So I'm just going to clear output. And it also told you the number of the exports so that way you can find it. And... What you're going to want to do is select and separate all the pieces so that way you can make sure everything's working correctly. So in my case, I know that the light bar is 10 long, so I'm going to go do it at, drag it over there, drag the next 10, drag it over there, for the next two, and drag it over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to color everything. So in my case, I know that all of these are going to be blue so I'm gonna make them all medium blue and I also know that these are going to be terracotta as in red and this is going to be that and as you can see everything works correctly and now you want to save so that way when you're testing it to make sure that it looks correct you don't accidentally 
it doesn't like delete itself or whatever when you're testing it. So I'm going to hit run. And as you can see, everything is working properly. Nice little pattern going on here. And then I'm going to play output again because I'll suggest some plugins. And now we're going to actually go into Toolbox and find a place car. Um, in this case, I'm just going to take this one. This one. And this one spawns in like this, so I'm actually just going to do that because this, why not? Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, here, go like this, and that. Copy those, because those are the scripts that control the ARM system. And so this is for a standard ELS, I'll show you how to set it up with the code controller after this. I'll show you how to set it up with this. Delete that. Come back over here. I'm going to go into controller. I'm going to format this document. I'm going to do if ELS dot on dot value then and format up down to the bottom type else like that and then I'm going to put an else statement in here that just turns everything transparent when it turns off oops Sadly, in Roblox, you can't control click multiple lines like you can in other online IDs. I mean, not online IDs, just editor, other text editors. And I accidentally hit insert. Not what it meant to be. I'm going to add a wait right here to prevent script timeouts, and we're also going to add one right there just to help prevent script timeouts. I'm going to save, clear, and I'm going to have this turned off by default. Now, when we hit run, as you'll see, everything is turned off, and if I go in here and I turn this on, you'll see that everything turns on and it works perfectly fine. And then if I turn it back off again, it turns off after the pattern's finished. Hey guys, I decided to cut the video short here because the Redon Tech Code Controller still isn't out to the public on GitHub yet, and because of that, it's still not released to the public again, so I decided that there's no point in showing me how to set, set it up. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe and share for more videos like this. And thank you to my friend who provided me with the video of the Siren tool and the files for it because I do not own Siren tool. Anyways, peace out.